All right, welcome to this video. We're talking about the Shapeoko 3 input cable for the JTEC Photonics uh, laser. Um, normally, the, so we have the input cable here and we have the carbide board here for reference. We've taken it off our machine so it's a little bit easier to see. Normally, you would connect your press fit connector over to the PWM and ground on this side over here. Um, that uh, normally works. Um, if it's not working for you for some reason, like you have broken the pin or it just won't push in, or after you've done it and it and you don't get any signal to your laser from your Shape Oco 3 and it's just not firing, then here is the other way you could do it. Good luck. It, the, the good news is, is that there is um, another six pin header over on the carbide board over on the left hand side. So there's the power and there's the USB. Over by the power, you're going to see there is a connector. Let's see if it can zoom in a little bit and see. Hopefully it can't. Oh, there it goes. Okay. So this is the ISP connector right there. It's labeled ISP and it has six pins. The top row is what we're looking at. The middle of the top row is going to be the red PWM connection and the top right pin is going to be the ground. So we can easily just take our um, connector here, the DuPont two pin connector and put it on the board like so. And there you have it. That is where you connect your JTEC input cable to the ISP header next to the power input on the carbide board. Don't connect it to any other pins besides those two. The top middle is the red, top right is the black. And then you can take the other side of your connector, which is the black Molex Mini Fit Junior connector, and you're going to put it into the black dot center Molex Mini Fit Junior connector on your laser driver. So that's how you do it. Um, obviously, we've taken this off to show you a little bit easier on how to do it. Um, it's going to be on your your system on in your electronics enclosure where the carbide board is. If you have any questions, visit us at jtechphotonics.com or email us at customer service at jtechphotonics.com. Thank you.